Okay, it's a, I think it's a Thursday afternoon in early January. I'm at the um, George Brown Darwin Botanic Gardens. And it's getting close to sunset. I'll just sort of go for a walk and see what I can see. All right, I'll turn around and see what we're looking at, eh? So it looks like this is a local dog walking spot. There's a lot of dogs here. Nothing much appears to be open. And there's a bit of a wet season storm brewing over there. I can hear thunder rumbling away, which will be nice to cool it down a bit. So I found this little walk on um, all trails. They've got a little route that's about uh, two k's, two and a half k's, I think it is. So yeah, I figured the end of a hot day in summer, shady gardens, nice place to wind down. I've got a longer walk I might do out here at some stage, whether it crops up on my vlog before this or after this, I'm not sure. Let's go to the Madagascar, Africa Madagascar Garden. That sounds interesting. So I guess the Boab's in the African Madagascar section, but I had a Kimberley section, it could be in there too. There's a bit of a theory that um, way, way, way back in time, when the Dutch were kicking around over what's now known as the Indian Ocean, it was the Java Sea, I suppose, back then, I don't know. Um, the East Indian Spice Company and all those places were a thing. The Dutch had settlements around the world. There's a bit of a school of thought that there was a, a Dutch ship that shipwrecked off the coast of WA hundreds of years before Europe, before English settlement. And there was a group of, um, there was people shipwrecked there and they lived for a while. They may have even flourished and they, they were the ones that introduced the Boab to the Kimberley. Um, it's a bit of a wild theory, but I have heard it a few times. And there's a little bit of evidence to back that up with um, indigenous history of the area, with cave paintings and things, of uh, paintings of of muskets and things like that, and, and hats that the Dutch used to, there's a name for their hats, the hats they used to wear, um, in caves that predate, that predate anything that should be there. So, yeah, anyway, one day it might come about, it might be uh, sorted. There's that storm that I was hearing brewing, the thunder I could hear. I'll be right for this walk, I think. Mmm, even got a water crossing. Look very crocky. I've come in my croc poof. Have yarners anyway. Havianas are like the higher car of shoes. They're great for anything. Just like higher cars make the best four-wheel drive, the best rally cars, best race cars. Havianas seem to do everything as well. It's a 
this is the Madagascar section of the gardens. I would love to go to Madagascar. Maybe one day, winter, I thought I. I wonder if they call these things boabs or what they call them over there. Let's go and read the name. Oh yeah. Perry is boab. Feels more Asian than Australian up in Darwin, I reckon, sometimes. We need a few monkeys. Oh, that wouldn't be good. So this is the rainforest part of the gardens. I'm just gonna wander down through the community garden. Geez, I'm thinking uh, things would grow pretty quick up here. I think maybe when I uh, pull up stumps for good in a town somewhere in a country town, 
I reckon I might grow my own veggies and some of my food. It appeals to me, the idea of it. The trouble is at the moment, I like to do so much traveling. Yeah, I'm only walking. That um, I just could I just couldn't look after it. But once I get to that rocking chair on the porch with a blankie on my knee, I reckon that's a time I won't be wanting to travel. That'll be the time to do this kind of thing, I reckon. What the video doesn't tell you is the smell. It smells beautiful in here. So is that one. So this is me pretty much back at the start. I'll sign off in a sec. I don't care if I don't get run over from a stray dog. Um, that's the end of the walk, about 2.8 k's. That's really nice. Um, I've said it before, but when you pull into these, well, I won't call Darwin a town, but when you pull into these smaller cities, these botanic gardens are sometimes awesome places it's just to stretch your legs. So 2.8 k's, it's not exactly a, um, an owner a stroll, but it took me probably over an hour just to wander around, checking out, nosing here, nosing there. Um, the cycads in the, in the Madagascan gardens were the, probably the notable feature here. All right, I'm heading back for a shower. I'll catch up with you next time.